kind of neuron is this? Is this a sensory neuron, an association neuron, or a motor neuron? Well, first of all, can you tell whether it's uh, unipolar, bipolar, or multipolar? It's multipolar. Multipolar, because we have more than two uh, processes sticking out of the cell body here. So it's multipolar. Now, sensory neurons tend to be unipolar, or in a rare number, are also bipolar. So since this is multipolar, it must be an association neuron or a motor neuron. How can we tell what, which one it is? Myelination. Okay, the, it's myelinated. Association neurons are totally within the central nervous system, right? So they would be myelinated by what type of uh, a glial cell? By oligodendrocyte. This is not an oligodendrocyte. This is a Schwann cell or neurolemocyte. So this must be in the peripheral nervous system. So this has to be a motor neuron. Okay. Also watch out because this is the cell body here. This is the axon. And we never have more than one axon at the most. Uh, in this case we have several dendrites. Okay. Um, these here are not dendrites, these are axon terminals ending in synaptic end bones. So these are other neurons converging on this particular neuron. We can see some uh, nissel bodies here, that's uh, rough ER with the ribosomes. Here's some Golgi apparatus. This is the nucleus with the nucleolus. What's missing though? No centrioles, because centrioles divide. We don't have centrioles usually in neurons because they usually don't divide. They don't repair very well either. Okay. Now this is called the axon hillock. Before we get to the axon hillock, messages coming in can be inhibitory or excitatory, and they cause graded potentials. It's like dropping a coin in water, so that they, those could dampen out over distance. So the most effects are going to be those that are near the axon hillock. It all depends upon how things add up to the axon hillock. If we exceed the threshold there, then we get an action potential. If we don't exceed the threshold, no action potential. If we make it closer to the threshold, we won't get an action potential. Action potentials are all or none. Okay. So if we get enough depolarizations to add up to exceeding the threshold, we will get an action potential. So that's the axon hillock. So this neuron has more effect than this neuron because the, the uh, greater potentials dampen out as you get further and further away from the initial stimulus. Now, this is a Schwann cell. This part is called the myelin sheath, where we've pushed all the extra cytoplasm and the a nucleus. That's called the neurolemma. That helps guide repair in the peripheral nervous system. The gaps between the uh, Schwann cells are called Nodes, Ron Nodes Ron of Ronvier. Okay. And this would be the connective tissue wrapping around an individual uh, axon would be the endoneurium. endoneurium. Around a group of uh, axons, that would be around a fascicle, that's called the perineurium. Around a whole nerve, that would be called the epineurium. So that actually would continue all the way up then? This, this would continue all around, down. But not, uh, this is only on the axon. You're talking about that gray, like, wedgy. This? The, the, yeah, this would be yeah. you know, all covering the okay. all the way down. Okay. But not on the axon terminals, not on the synaptic end bulbs, okay. not on the dendrites, not on the cell body. Okay, I think that's about it.